things first. Let's take the cradle off of this thing. Now I've got to get through all these little plugs here. for now and here we have the goodies all right so let's take a look at what we got here all right so this is the receiving element this is the transmit element and as you can see there's really not much to look at basically if I'm not mistaken what there are is there's actually four radios in here it's also got a GPS antenna right here at the top but uh, there's four radios in here, so it's 4x4 four four MIMO. And, uh, yeah, let's see here, we got a TI chip right here. And let's, let's see what's underneath this guy here. So you know what, that's on there pretty good. Rather than have to uh, worry about re-adhering that heat sink, I'll just look up the schematic for the board. All right, so yeah, um, this is all that there is to an Air Fiber 24. Uh, so let's see here. Down here we got the ports. Uh, we've got our readout for alignments. This little can here probably has the multiplexer in it. Uh, transformer. See so here, and here's the voltage regulation circuit right here. Um, for the most part, I do believe that the output transistors are all underneath these plates, as you know, this thing's capable of six kilowatts of output EIRP, right? So here's something interesting as well. It says Defiant 24G 2012 on the board here. Hmm. All right, so we've gotten this piece apart now. Uh, let's open this bad boy up. So as you can see here, pretty simple, it's all plastic. And this looks like a job for my spudger. Let me retrieve my spudger. Uh, let's see here. Spatula. Um, Go. So it looks like this is actually clocked on, so I have to re hear this afterwards. So this looks like 
glass. That's interesting. I'm just using the edge of the screwdriver here. It's going to take a lot of cleanup when I'm done. So I'm going to have to clean that up and put new silicone on that when I go to put it back together. Ha! Ah. Alright. Now that we're in, check out that big, beautiful reflective surface. So essentially, if I was to put this back together right now, that is essentially what you're going to get when you look inside of the air fiber. That's it. There's really not much to them, just like most of the ubiquity stuff. Now, notice I'm keeping my hands away from the reflective surfaces and from those elements there. Uh, I really don't want to tarnish the elements because I could change the surface properties of the actual material. Um, so we're just going to be really careful with that. So yeah, that cover is essentially plexiglass if anybody ever wants to put a clear one on. Just gonna stick the sun temporarily. All right, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it. There's not much more to it. So if any of you guys would want a breakdown of what's on the board, um, I will manage to try to get some schematics for this. If I can't get the schematics for this, then uh, I'll just have to wait until we've got a fried one and actually take things off the board. I'm just being a chicken shit. I mean, I can peel that off the CPU there, but uh, no, I don't want to have to stick it back on, to be completely honest with you. But yeah, so this chip here, though, I'm not too sure exactly what this guy's doing. That's These are memory over here at the sides. You can clearly see that. Um, these are... Ethernet filters, transformers, and uh, let's see here, GPS antenna. I don't know really what else there is to say about it, not much. All right, so let's put it back together. All right, so I'm going to put this right here for a minute.
so one other thing which I want to do is I want to do a ground test and see how well grounded this thing actually is. I mean, like, you're paying a huge chunk of money for a radio. So I'm going to connect this to the chassis ground here on the side. First test the cradle. So now it's not grounded to here. So the ground so far is just on the heat sink and basically the back plane for the radio. See if we can get anything off here. No, and you know why? Because it's plastic. And the cradle on this thing is not grounded either. So realistically, the only thing that's grounded on this radio when you hook up a ground to it is this heat sink right here. The whole back plane for the radio. Um, the chassis of the radio is plastic. The cradle is not grounded either, so you can't rely on this to ground it from lightning on the tower. And now, I think we know the obvious answer here. Let us take this cover off and check these shields, or these uh, reflectors, I should say. Here we go. Nothing. The ground there. We don't have ground in here. Ground here. No ground here. So even the reflective surface inside is floating. Let's put our plexiglass back on. Alright, so there you go. Basic teardown of Nair Fiber 24. I'll get you guys details as they're asked for, okay? But I'm pretty sure most of you guys are nerdly enough to understand the inner workings of one of these guys and actually know what's in it already. So, this is just for those who aren't brave enough to tear their own apart. Or smart enough not to tear their own apart. Alright, we'll catch you.